The Musical Doors Puzzle is a puzzle with a few goals. The first is to utilize sound, which can be underrepresented in puzzles. The second is to provide a theme for a small dungeon. And the third is to combine combat and puzzle solutioning. I originally created this puzzle for a series of class-themed mini-dungeons. This one was focused on bards. And I'm only going to be highlighting and recreating the rooms that dealt with this puzzle mechanic directly. To begin, all the doors in this dungeon have no handle and can't be opened by pushing or pulling. There's a button nearby with some strange symbols, and when characters press it, they'll hear a series of rising notes. After which the door opens. After being opened a few rounds, the characters then hear a series of descending notes. And the door closes. We're establishing one series of notes to align with the idea of opening and another series of notes to align with closing. You can come up with your own song, but players will need to reproduce it, so don't make it too complicated. After exploring a bit in the dungeons, the players come across a door which has no button. Instead, the whole room is covered with buttons along the walls, each bearing one of the symbols. The button are, is, are lit, and when the players press a button, a note plays. So players will move around, pressing buttons, hearing notes. Uh, they should be able to, to determine that the goal here is to play the opening song, the series of rising notes. Uh, if they're able to do so, the door opens. Uh, otherwise, if they play eight notes, which is the number of notes in this song, that are incorrect, all the buttons relight, uh, and the room gives a slight shock. Uh, the punishment for failure should be minimal, even the lowest one damage, but just kind of a quick reset on the puzzle. Players can always go back and check uh, previous doors to make sure they have the sound right before tr retrying the puzzle. Um, and that is the first room. Towards the end of the dungeon, the players will encounter a similar room. Again, the buttons are on the wall. Uh, this is familiar to them, they just did a puzzle like it, but as soon as they step in the dungeon, or in this room, uh, there is a portal opening following some opening notes. They hear the opening notes and the portal opens. And right away, monsters start coming out of the portal. Okay, so they have done a puzzle like this before. Uh, when they opened it, this time because they've heard the portal open after the opening notes, they'll likely understand that they need to play the closing song before uh, moving on. Uh, the portal spawns monsters every round. I had four monsters come out at the start of combat and 1d4 monsters at the top of every run round after. The goal here is to create a new level of decision making as they enter combat. Uh, you want to have players have tricky decisions between do they start playing the melody or start battling the monsters. To add to the difficulty of the decision making, the monsters should get stronger the more of them they are. This could use a feature like pack tactics, uh, which is why I'm using the wolf token. Uh, but there's other ways you can have them gain strength in numbers. Um, perhaps they gain one damage for every enemy that's also adjacent to the target. I home brunes of demons for this one. I want it to focus on them having low HP and low AC, so if a player did use their turn to strike them, they're likely going to help the party. Uh, like the previous room, playing an incorrect series of notes will shock the room, including the monsters and the PCs, but if they play the correct series of notes, the portal closes. Then after cleaning up the remaining monsters, they can proceed through the dungeon. One of the items I included as loot at the end was a pan flute, uh, an instrument of the bard, uh, this pan flute is able to open or close doors within 30 feet by playing the appropriate melody and can even cast a knock spell once per day. I like this puzzle because building on player knowledge from early in the game lets you do more complex puzzles. Jumping straight into the combat room could work or it could be disastrous. Monsters are spawning every round and if the party needs 30 seconds, 
to figure it out, five rounds of monster spawning can really mess with the challenge rate for a puzzle like this. Uh, two, the combat puzzles can make sure everyone's involved. Everyone needs to take a turn when you're in combat, and pretty much every action helps the party. It's just a question of optimizing so you can complete the puzzle before dying. The random nature of combat can also minimize quarterbacking. Maybe you should attack, maybe you should press a button, but because attacking can randomly miss and the enemies can randomly miss, it's difficult to tell what's exactly the right one. Uh, and the third reason I like this puzzle is that I feel magic items uh, as rewards are going to be a lot more memorable if they have a connection to the gameplay the players are experiencing. In this case, the pan flute will always harken back to this dungeon whenever it's utilized. That is the end of the musical doors puzzle. I'm Sheptagon. Goodbye forever.